Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 204 of the Karen Knits podcast. My name is Karen and I'm coming to you from South Central Pennsylvania where I live, where I work, where I knit and sometimes crochet and get into all kinds of other crafting shenanigans. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. It is Saturday, March 23rd, 2024 and we have a overcast dark kind of day here today. A little bit on the cooler side. It was raining overnight. It was raining this morning. Rain has stopped now. It's drying out, but it's still really dark and overcast looking out there. I'm happy I don't have to go outside anywhere. I can just stay put, stay indoors. So if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for coming by to see what's, what's going on with this channel and what I'm up to. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back for another visit and coming back for another week to see what I'm up to. I'm always so happy to have anyone and everyone here to, to visit with me. I appreciate it so much. What am I wearing? I am wearing my Ariana cardigan. I think the pattern was by Amy Christopher's going by memory on that one. This was made using yarn from uh, Chickadee Fiber Arts. It was the advent calendar I bought last year. I did a few modifications to the pattern. I did the same style and did the same thing that um, Alex from My Yarny Corner did. And I used fingering weight yarn and I did each of the each of the squares are done in a single color and I have two or three of each color in the sweater and I love it. I really like this sweater. I think it turned out really neat and I'm really really happy with it. Olive is with us again this week sitting over in the corner keeping track of what we're doing and making sure that no shenanigans happen well. No, no shenanigans can't speak properly. No shenanigans on her watch. So it's been mostly monogamous knitting this week. I did spend some time Saturday and Sunday morning working on my two at a time toe up sort of shorty socks and these are made using the yarn scraps from from here so when I saw you last I had one one of the heel turns and heel flaps was done the second one was partly done so I finished the second heel flap and I've done just a few rounds on the the rest of the top of the sock so this is a pattern I kind of roughly follow a pattern I found on Ravelry. I'll link that down below. And I've just kind of modified it so that it fits just right for my my big feet. I have markers that I do I keep on here so every 10 rounds I pop in a marker. For me I do the toes and bear then I do 55 rounds straight stocking at with 64 stitches on a 2.25 millimeter or US 1 needles. Then the gusset increasing takes 20 rounds. Then I do a basic heel turn and a slip stitch heel flap. And then I rejoin and continue in the round. And with this I'm using the yarn from days 13 through 24. I did another pair of socks with the first half of the advent calendar. I used days one through the, the leftovers are about roughly two grams each. Yeah roughly two grams each of all the 24 colors. So I used all the scraps from days 1 through 20, no, 1 through 12 on the first pair of socks and I'm using 
13 through 24 on the second pair of socks. This is day 23 and that's the leftover bit for day 24. So these socks are also almost done. I'm hoping to have them done in the next couple days but this past week has been mostly monogamous knitting. I worked on these on again Saturday afternoon evening and Sunday until I got home from church and then I was able to print out the sock madness round two socks and that's all I've knit since then so since Sunday afternoon I have done nothing but sock madness round two socks which I will talk about in just a second this is in a bag from Moonstone Dye Works. I bought this uh, several years ago. It's just a nice size for a small pair of socks. So, Sock Madness Round 2 is underway and I'm almost done. I was hoping I would have them done as um, a completed pair of socks for you to see today. Didn't quite make it didn't quite make it. I will most likely finish them tonight or at the latest tomorrow morning. Hopefully they'll be done tonight. I don't have too too much left to do. Just drinking some regular black tea. So sock madness round two. One sock is done. The second sock is part way down the foot. So this pattern, let me show you this in a little bit more detail. This pattern is, let me just take a look at this because I can't quite remember the name of it. Itigran, Yitigran, spelt Y-T-T-Y-G-R-A-N. And it's a pattern by Anna Jurovleva. And she's designed a few patterns to Sock Madness before, and I, I like her patterns. But here we have them. This is what the one looks like. I'm going to switch it over to another, um, another blocker in just a second. But let me show you where I am on the second sock. So there's a right and a left sock. That was the right sock. This is the left sock. I might be able to show it to you just like this. So the leg is done. All the gusset increasing is done and I'm the heel turns done and I'm part way down the foot so I'm on I think round 21 I think it's where I left off I'm on round 21 I need to go up to round 36 and then do rounds 1 through 18 again and then do the toe so it's not a lot left, but I have to pay attention every single round to make sure I'm not messing something up. There is something to, something to pay attention to every single round. Let me just get my fancy, <laughs> my fancy flat sock blocker. We needed, uh, last year or two years ago, we needed to do, we needed sock blockers because we needed to have our socks going, laying flat with a full front view, not, not a side view like this. So for this pattern, you need the side view, you need a close up of the way the, the gusset was picked up, and then you also need let me just get this on here. You need a flat front view. Now, let me see if I can do this. 
See if I can do this and talk at the same time. Apparently not. <laughs> Here we go. hope this is in focus. It's a really cute design. But as I said, I have I've had to really pay attention all the way along. And the back is relatively straightforward. The yarn I'm using for this is a yarn I dyed myself. Uh, it was one of the multiple skeins I dyed a little before Sock Madness was ready to start. And I chose the lightest one I had. It has some funky little bit of pooling happening here, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't mind that at all. Clearly I have not tucked in my tails. I've got the start and finish tails left to, to tuck in or will have. But these are really pretty. It's a really, really pretty design. So, those are my Sock Madness Round 2 socks. That is all I've been knitting since I came home from church on Sunday afternoon. I cast them on. I've been doing them two at a time in tandem, so I did both cuffs. Then I did the first leg, then I did the second leg. Then I did the gusset increasing on one, then the gusset increasing on the second. Then I did the heel turn on one, the heel turn on the second one. Then I did the foot on the first sock. And I'd finished that up last by the time I went to bed last night. I was going to get going on the foot on the second one, but I really wanted to have one of the socks 100% done to show you guys. So I finished the foot before I went to bed. Then this morning I did the toe and then I've switched over and I've started doing the foot on the second sock. So I should be able to have it done by tonight before I go to bed and get it submitted. I'm not worried that I won't make it. There are currently only four people that have finished the socks on my team out of 32 possible spots. So unless there are a ton of people that have finished them in the last couple hours, I should have no trouble making it into round three. But I don't want to dawdle. I want to make sure I do get them finished and I do get them submitted so I get, I get through to the next round. Then I will have to impatiently wait until round three begins, which will not be before the first, will likely not be before the first of April. The deadline for us to finish this round is the 1st of April. I forget what time, but the 1st of April. They extended it by a day because it, the deadline was, the deadline was going to fall on Easter Sunday. So they, they scooted it forward one day, which is fine. I, I'll be done before then anyway, but so once those are done. I'm going to finish my Chickadee Fiber Arts Scrappy Socks pair number two. And then I'll probably get back to working on my Mitered Square Cozy Memory or Coziest Memory blanket cardigan. So that's by Amba. Nope. Who's that one by? Kemper Ray. Sorry. That one's by Kemper Ray. So I'll finish the scrappy socks 
once once the round two socks are done I will finish the scrappy socks and then I will try to refrain from casting on another pair of socks don't hold your breath on that one I might cast on another pair of just plain vanilla socks we shall see I'll try to show a little bit of restraint but no promises no guarantees so, so and that is it for my knitting this week it's been a lot of knitting but not much variety to show you not much at all I probably will not knit a chicken next week even though it's tempting I'll try to refrain from from knitting another chicken so a couple kind of administrative things I wanted to chat about a little bit I was looking over the threads on my Ravelry group and especially on the threads about the um, box of socks make along for 2024 and there's a lot I, I have not been keeping up with that and commenting on that and I apologize but there are a lot of gorgeous socks in, especially in the finished object thread there are so many gorgeous socks in there I'm just blown away so I finally decided my plan is going to be to draw prizes for that finished object or the finished thread each quarter so once March is finished I am going to go into the thread and do a random number generator and I will pick out one or two I'll, I'll pick out a few winners so I'll do that after the 31st of March has passed or the th yeah 31 days in March aren't there <laughs> end of March first of April I will take a look at what's on there so my first my first podcast that I'll do or my first episode I will do in April I will announce the winners from the first quarter of the um, box of socks make along and then I'll do it again in the end of June and so on so the end of each each quarter I will do a draw or two I'll decide that part after so I think there's like 78 entries on there I'm really I'm amazed by how many are on there it's really cool and so I will be drawing a couple prizes for that on the 1st of April and I'll post it on my uh, episode the first Saturday in April I'll post that and the other thing I wanted to chat about a little drop is I am getting close to a thousand subscribers and I would love to break that little barrier I'm a little over 800 I think I'm at 822 I think the last time I checked I would love to get over a thousand subscribers so if you are watching this video and you watch regularly but you've not subscribed please just go down there and just click that subscribe button it would mean the world to me if you're a new viewer and you're enjoying what you see please take a couple seconds hit the subscribe button when I hit a thousand subscribers I am going to do a giveaway and I haven't decided a hundred percent yet if I will do one bigger prize or if I will do a few smaller prizes but one of the things that I am going to do for that giveaway is I will make a one of my wonky project bags so not that wonky don't worry I will make one of my little project bags and that'll be one of the prizes another prize is one of my I will do um, a skein of my own hand dyed yarn I haven't decided whether it'll be one of the ones in this the sock weight ones maybe the DK or sport weight maybe or maybe I'll dye a brand new a brand new color 
for the winner. So I haven't decided if I'll do the, the bag and the yarn as one giveaway or do two separate ones, one for the bag, one for the yarn. And maybe a few stitch markers. I have some I have some supplies to make a few to make stitch markers. So that might also be either an additional prize or included as part of the prize. So this won't happen until I break a thousand. But once I broke a thousand subscribers, I will be posting a giveaway. What I will do is I will probably just do a separate post for that alone and describe what's going to be in the giveaway all that good stuff and hopefully it doesn't take too long I've been doing these videos for several years now and I, I love doing them and hitting a thousand subscribers is just a huge goal I have for this channel and I would just dearly love to break a thousand subscribers so with your help we can do it. So that's my little, that's not a public service announcement. That's a begging. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> but if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you're a new, especially if you're a new subscriber, hit the subscribe button. If you're a returning viewer, but you've never subscribed, you just come in here each week and watch my videos. I appreciate so much that you do come here every week and watch my videos. But if you take a second and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And all of, it'll make all of really happy too. <laughs> She's the happy little chicken. She doesn't eat very much either. Anyway, on that note, not much else has been new around here this past week. It's been kind of uneventful. We went on Tuesday and got our taxes done. Yay. Uh, we went and checked out a little art gallery not far from our place on Friday afternoon. We went out for lunch, then we went out we had pizza for supper. We watched um, a Taylor Swift Eras tour movie, video, whatever you call it. It's on Disney Plus right now and we have a subscription to Disney Plus so we watched that last night. I think the hubby spent more time reading a book and just listening and that's how I got a lot of knitting done last night too. <laughs> but I, I really enjoyed it. I'm not a he, I'm, I don't consider myself to be like a big Swifty, but I, I enjoy her music. And the, the concert was, was fun. Uh, she clearly puts on one heck of a show and she looks like she has a blast doing it. So that makes it a lot of fun to watch. But other than that, I think that's about it. A little bit slightly shorter episode than usual today, but I didn't have an awful lot of knitting to show you. Alrighty, I will let you go and take care and I will see you guys again next week. Alrighty, bye everyone.